Black person gets stuck in the room, idiot. You got stuck in the room. Enemy drone incoming. Starting the clock. Groovy. Hey gang. I want to first say thank you to the 15 to 20 of you that watch my Siege videos. I do sincerely appreciate you stopping in and checking out what I've cooked up each week. Unfortunately, I think the 15 to 20 folks watching aren't really justifying the effort it takes to assemble these videos each week. I'm not at all trying to sound ungrateful for your attention. It's just that I think the YouTube gods are telling me it's time to give it a rest. Now this same sort of thing happened to my brief two to three year streaming career. It started as a gag, streaming Battlefield 1 and Star Citizen back then. And every so often I'd actually get a few viewers, but it wasn't sustainable. I'm neither very good at the games I play, nor am I a very entertaining streamer. Given that losing combination, I realized I just needed to stop. The same applies here. I'm also going to likely be spending less time actually playing Siege. I'm not giving up on it completely, but the game has become something that causes me more stress than it does enjoyment. I sincerely look at the pile of work that I have to do for my day job, and then I look at the idea of playing Siege. You know what? The work is actually more fun for me. That says a lot of positive things about my work, but it also paints a pretty bad picture for Siege. Now why has the game lost its luster for me? To be fair, I've been playing since it was launched, and we're closing in on five years. That's a hell of a run for any video game. But more to the point, it's down to a couple of things. Primarily, it's my age. At the point of making this video, I'm about two and a half years away from the big 5-0. That's right, I can see the age of 50. And as I've outlined in a couple videos in the past, it's fucking hard to play first-person shooters against kids who just have faster hand-eye coordination. I used to be that kid when I was 20, but I'm not any longer. I'm too old and I'm too slow. And there's nothing I can do about it either. Neither can you. It's going to happen to you too. I don't know at what age, and I don't know by how badly your hand-eye coordination is going to diminish, but it will. Count on it. Ultimately, I'm getting matched up against kids who are just faster, and that's that. I lose. Secondarily, but just as important, is the community. Most of the folks playing Siege are decent people, but there's a large chunk of folk who are... Well, I'm just going to call them assholes. They're worth little more than the dirt on the soles of my running shoes. Who are these folks? Cheaters, Smurfs, and the toxic pricks that are otherwise playing straight. You've seen a number of my videos that start off with some sort of toxicity, including this one. I don't go out of my way to look for it either. It just happens to find me every night that I'm playing. Folks that can hide behind the anonymity of their computers will, in some cases, decide to be dickheads. And we have our fair share of those in Siege. The longer the game goes, the larger that number grows. In reality, Ubi can't do anything about toxicity. Sure, they can allow you to report players, but a single report of one person being an asshole isn't going to be enough. It has to be a pattern. And that doesn't matter to the target of said toxicity that one time it happens, though. Gaming wasn't always like that when we first started playing in mass. We'd always communicate with each other on the same team and the opposing team, and it was rarely bad. It was always, nice shot, or good kill, or... GG at the end of it. None of the garbage we have now. As for cheaters and smurfs, I run into those on a fairly regular basis as well. A rank 40 guy that cleans everyone out with perfect aim, stunning map knowledge, and faultless movement. Is he a cheater or a smurf? In most cases, the latter, but in some, the former. I run into a lot of those guys in casual, and it ruins the game for everyone else playing. I know no game will ever be cheater free. I understand that because I've been gaming online since we started back in the 90s. I get it. It's an arm race. Unfortunately, Ubi's current way of dealing with them is just not up to par with the best of the best. Until they start hardware banning cheaters, the fuckers are just going to keep coming back with new accounts. And so will the Smurfs. Am I sounding like the grumpy old man yelling at you youngins to get off his internet? Well, that's exactly what I am. Get off my internet. That's it, really. A combination of nearly no viewers in a game that I'm enjoying less and less the more I play it. It's time for me to park Siege. As I said earlier, I'm not uninstalling it or giving up on it. But I am going to be playing it less, and I won't be making any more videos on it either. 
what will I be making videos on? To be completely honest with you, I sincerely don't know. No online multiplayer game has my rapt attention right now. We're in this sort of dead zone for games until next year when the next Battlefield comes out. And no, I have no interest in Cyberpunk either. So that means a bunch of nothing, and likely few to no videos. But that's okay since again, no one's really watching. And I have my day job, which I absolutely love and am busy with fairly constantly. Ultimately, I won't miss this little siege video experiment, and neither will anyone else, I suspect. For those that did stay this long, thanks for listening. Later! Did you guys...